Welcome, welcome boys. In this video, we're going to be replacing the gender neutral fluid in our gender axle in the back of our 68 Beetle. Also known as transaxle fluid in the transaxle. So I have the car up in the air, kind of, sort of, level. But the rear has lifted up slightly because I lifted up on the rear wheels so that the swing axles, instead of being at this angle, are more level because the swing axles are full of gear oil, unlike my 74 Super, which has CB axles in the back. And if we slither underneath here, we have a drain plug here, a drain plug towards the front. In case you do have this thing tilted slightly more to the front, you can get everything out of here, and then what's tilted this way. You can loosen that, and then up in here is our fill plug. This takes a gigantic hex 17, I believe. Is that what I have on here? Yes, 17 hex, the big boy. So we need to go up here, loosen the fill plug first. There will be no fluid coming out of it, I'm sure, because I imagine we're low since we leak out of here. Probably also leak out of the other side, but I notice it more on the cardboard I set under the car on this side. We'll address that at a later date, but for now, we need to change this decade plus old fluid. So we're going to loosen that, then those two, and then we play the waiting game. Okay, we have the three plugs out. I put the one on top, up top higher elevation side remember but of course it does not have a magnet in it and then the one towards the rear of the car I have here and then the one towards the front of the car there these two both have little magnets in there that I had to clean off and um, as you see I did paint mark each of those before I took them out and then ditto on uh, the cases you saw that way I know where they go back but uh, we did not successfully do this without making it look like a crime scene underneath because we did spill it quite a bit but, uh, that should be par for the course for me. I can never get out of here unscathed. I always make a massive mess. And oh boy, is this a mess. That's okay, we've dripped quite a bit out, so I'll go ahead and uh, kind of wipe that clean. Put the lower plugs back in to whereabouts they were. And then we'll start pumping our... I think this thing takes like 3.8 quarts or... In other words, damn near an entire gallon of 80W90. So this is 80W90 Normie gear oil. It's not synthetic or anything. Uh, but I do have a little bit of 7590 synthetic along with some AT205 reseal. We'll try to slow this leak down. And if this isn't enough and I need to top it off, well, I can do so with that. So, all right. I'll uh, attempt to clean this mess up slightly and then... Uh, start pumping it back in okay boys and we are com missions completed here so we have retorqued rear bolt the front bolt and the fill bolt all back to where they were using the aforementioned paint markings I made before taking everything out and then using this thing with the pump I managed to get our gear oil in a funnel and pour it into here and then use this thing to pump it in one quart at a time until it came out of the fill hole and I believe we're good that's as full as I can get it anyway because if I pump any more in I might be able to get one or two pumps and it just starts gushing out again so that's as full as it, as it gets and that's as done as we're doing so, alrighty, that's how we change the transaxle fluid on our 68 Beetle to swing axle. The procedure is very similar for your Super Beetle with the CB axles in the back. The difference is the oil doesn't go down here, it just stays on the transaxle. So you should have to use less gear oil than you would on this. Alright, that's it. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching, boys. Peace.